Hi, I'm Scott Sackett. On this segment of Mastering the Basics, we're going to talk about the proper ball position. Now, these are guidelines. These are not in stone, but what's important to understand is based on different clubs, you obviously want to play the ball in a different position. I've got a great teaching aid here. It's called Swinky. And the nice thing, I designed this especially for my students. It has the four different ball positions on the teaching aid itself. Now, what I've done to keep it simple is I've just got four ball positions laid out so it'll help you better understand the importance of the proper ball position. Now as I set up to this golf ball and I've got this shaft sitting in the middle of my heels, we're going to call this ball position number one. Now with ball position number one you're going to be playing a sand wedge, pitch and wedge, nine, eight iron. As I go into a longer club, whether it be a seven iron, six iron, or five iron, I'm going to grab a six iron here. I'm going to move this ball up one position. This shaft will still be in the middle of my feet. My feet may naturally get a little wider. That's ball position number two. Now, as I get into the three iron, four iron, and the hybrids and the fairway woods, I'm going to move this up one more position. And now we're on ball position three. Once again, this shaft is still in the middle of my heels. That does not change. The only thing that changes is the width of the feet. So if I'm going to hit a hybrid, I'm going to walk in and that's ball position number three. And then the last position, we'd obviously put this ball on a tee, but the last position would be ball number four, and that's for a driver. This shaft will still be in the middle of the heels. Feet are going to be naturally wider. And as you'll see, this ball is pretty much going to set up on the left instep. And the reason we want to get the ball up further with a longer club is it, is it really dictates how we're going to hit this ball on the angle of attack, whether it's going to be descending or ascending. So keep in mind, when you're looking at ball positions, it really plays a key aspect on how you strike the ball. And we're going to keep it simple with the four separate ball positions based on the club of your choice.